<laughs> there we go. Just again with the fucking weak claps. <laughs> you don't know how to clap. I don't know what's going on with me. You gotta hit the palm. You sounded good got, in my head. I got decent sized hands. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> you got huge hands. I got good, like... <laughs> Yes. There you go, that's right? Cup, yeah. I mean, it's you should technique. be able to. I, I, want, I want the kind of clap that will scare a bear away. <laughs> the Andre the Giant clap? <laughs> Smash clap. Um, thank you so much. This is I'm Simon King. This is What's Wrong. Hey, thanks for uh, listening and or watching the podcast. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're the best. If you're listening to this, you're the best too. Woo! You could be watching it. Um, Wait, is uh, this video? No. Because um, <laughs> I wore this exact outfit for the last podcast I did, so that would be really? super embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's <laughs> video. Oh, shit. Yeah, there's everything. It's watched by 13 people. So. But to be fair, I mean, we did say business casual. So, <laughs> on the invite. So, this is, is an outfit you wear? No, I, the, no oh, yeah, he never I was, wears it. I thought He's it was audio it now. Only. Yeah, so <laughs> Just put it on. Oh, yeah. Sweatpants. Awesome. Um, yeah, if you, you could be watching this and you could be listening to it and you could be uh, liking, um, sharing, and subscribing to it. Um, I am going to introduce uh, one of my favorite people in the world, ladies and gentlemen, the hilarious Chris Griffin hey! Hey! and Mikey. Uh, <laughs> fuck. We're running out of adjectives. Are we love this one. Uh, no, no, it's a Christian podcast. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually, we do a couple of hymn breaks in between. Yeah. Um, or, or, you know, they, whatever. Um, so, <laughs> you okay, refer to cool. religious, <laughs> I'm on this episode. Religious music. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh, no. It's the Chappelle episode. Um, <laughs> Mikey uh, Mikey Greenwood, my... Um, what, wait, hold on. we got to figure out a word for you. Um, Producer. Um, uh, no, no. Um, uh, we always come up with a new word for him every week. Oh. Hellacious. Producer Hellacious. Mikey Greenwood. Okay, Hellacious. Hellacious. Okay. You know what hellacious means? Hell... It means just, just about ripe. Just kidding. Okay. <laughs> It sounds annoying. Like, These bananas like, are like, hellacious. That's two ways of saying annoying. <laughs> and I think it's. I don't think it's annoying. I think it's like a crazy, crazy man. All right, I'll be, I'm. That's how I know. I may be wrong. I'll take it. Yeah. Crazy man. Crazy man. Crazy man. <laughs> yeah, that's good. You're sad at annoying, but crazy man. You're like, crazy oh, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah sure. Let's get in. He's an ableist. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so um, I, I don't think I've ever worn a headband and pulled it off. I don't think I can do it. Yeah, me neither. I don't think, no, no it looks good. Off. No, it awesome. looks good. You look good. It actually suits you really well, especially with the headphones. You look like a DJ is about to throw down. Oh, sick. You look like someone's <laughs> about to fuck up a festival. Yeah. <laughs> like you, you just walk up and you'd be like, Diplo's fine. Yeah. Check this shit. And then you just <laughs> somehow... Well, I thought it. you meant a comedy fest, because I've done that a few times. Ah. <laughs> What's your favorite comedy festival you've ever done? Funny fest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let people Google that. I'm going to no. say nothing else. Uh, <laughs> Where's moving on. Uh, Mike, come on. Hey, come on. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's uh, pinky lemonade sorry. That yeah. That's pinky lemonade sorry. <laughs> Scottish beer drinkers. Mm. The Scottish beer podcast. I think that's great. It's a little bit sour, but not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> We've, um... We've really got. To, I think people don't realize that we taped three of these in a row. So I slowly progressively get more drunk, oh. and so I think I think that sometimes I just wander in, guys, <laughs> <laughs> just fucking hammered. So It'll yeah, be the best one I think. Just a fucking good. Well, yeah. I I have a personal. I always enjoy the last podcast of the of the, and not that I don't enjoy the other ones. I do, but I always enjoy the last one because I feel like at that point I've just drunk so much. <laughs> yeah, that's like four to five p.m. at my day job. Yeah, four to yeah. five. You just at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah just yeah. like fuck it. Yeah, yeah. Are you that. are you a day drinker in a general like no. is that something no you don't I actually don't drink yeah you don't drink at all yeah I can tell <laughs> um, <laughs> no that's those are props those are props that's water this is a movie set yeah we're acting <laughs> right. <laughs> I used to think of that, like I used to drink, like just because I didn't want to go back to my hotel room. Like I just didn't want to go. Like I just during didn't... the day. No, yeah, oh. no, just, no, during oh, the like day. At night. I yeah. just didn't want to get back in my car. <laughs> I didn't want to check in. <laughs> I didn't want to check in. I had to be drunk to check in. I have social anxiety. <laughs> Throwing up over the desk. <laughs> What's the worst hotel you've ever stayed at? Um, that avalanche one in, I think it was Courtney. Oh, fuck. That yeah. was bad, dude. That's my number one. That was mine. I What's had, yours? I had, that was bad. Well, second I had, worst. Worst one was with Richard Lett. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> 
I don't care where that is. <laughs> it's just, yeah, the companies. It's all about the people. Yeah. Um, I had that one, the, the, the Avalanche one. My, I remember once going into the bathroom, the toilet handle was just like an old toothbrush. Really? <laughs> Someone had taped <laughs> yeah, onto I, the thing. I was, I was like, with, this can't be right. Yeah, and with, it's fine. Just use it. Yeah, it was with Paul Meyerhog, but he wasn't there yet. So they gave yeah. him the key. And they're like, oh, we'll give him the headliner room. So you're in the other one. And it, just both the sink and the bathtub didn't turn off. Full blast. They were on the whole time? Yeah. And they're like, oh, we haven't figured it out. Like, we don't know how to stop it. it yeah. And I'm like, this is wasting a lot of water. And yeah, then, yeah, Jesus boot prints. And then, yeah, dead bugs on the walls, blood. Oh, no. I was like, oh, cool. Yeah, I think when you when you find stuff on the walls, yeah. that's when you know. <laughs> I know. Like, the worst hotel I've ever stayed in, um, I didn't actually even stay. I left. I couldn't do it. I've only walked out of three hotel rooms in my life. And this was, it was a motel. I was doing this gig in Grand Prairie. Oh, no, sorry. It was doing it in um, White Court. On the way to Grand Prairie. And uh, White Court's like, it's like this place where there's a lot of truckers come through for the oil company. So a lot of the hotels are really fucking nice. Most of the hotels are nice. They're really nice. And uh, the guy that booked us for the gig, he's like, I'll take care of the hotel, don't worry, because we're like, we should build it. He's like, I got a hotel deal, don't worry. And we get there, and it's like just the worst fucking rundown motel. And I walk into the room. First of all, it was two dudes, and we asked for two rooms, and it gave us one room with a queen bed. I'm like, well, nope. <laughs> and just like, yep. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> and they walk in the room, and at first I think the because it's it's one of those ones where the uh, it's a motel, so it backs onto the the, dry, the the parking lot, right? Right. The parking lot. And I get in the room, and the first thing is I notice is like not the lights work; they just don't fucking work. And then the the curtains I thought had a really nice pattern on them, but they were actually just fucking moth eaten so much that the <laughs> light was coming through. And then I realized that the door didn't close to the parking lot; like it kind of mostly closed, and you could kind of like wedge it, but it didn't close. And then the mirror was just dust it was just dust like it was just like a ghost had died in there it's yourself in the future and i just sat and there was a chair sitting across from the the, ta- the the bed and i just sat on the bed and i just thought a lot about my life <laughs> and then i took a picture of the chair and i was like i'm not fucking staying here and that actually ended up being the cover art for as good as i read it then i just oh, couldn't i just couldn't sit there and oh, i just was like is I that can't. What it was? yeah because awesome. i was literally like i can't wake up to this chair i just can't i can't i can't <laughs> this chair is so sad like someone but then you're like 10 four. years later yeah. you're like i'm gonna find that i'm gonna chair. find that chair <laughs> a picture with it. i'm gonna buy that chair for posterity bring, fly it out to me <laughs> and you get like crazy famous and looking for that chair and like what are you talking about we burned it oh my god that chair my never dreams. existed dude it was so bad it was so fucking bad it was like it was a terrible gig too but it was one of those moments where you're just like i can't believe i've done this to myself you know? yeah like, i know like, i could have been i was healthy i had potential <laughs> no reason to be here yeah i, I think yeah, the fuck. the one paul and i did which was that avalanche one he showed up came in and his was like full length mirrors but just the, his water turned off so it was a bit fancier mm. but otherwise <laughs> awful Classy. and then he's like he's like man we got two options here one um we just black out and uh, <laughs> yeah, we stay yeah, here yeah. or two we leave right after the show and I was like <laughs> you're like how about yeah, I black out how the show goes. Yeah. Yeah. But, both. Yeah. oh yeah but then Paul took the lead on that yeah but uh, yeah I can't, I can't we both thought we had bed bugs the next day but we didn't yeah <laughs> so, that's yeah. amazing in all these years I've never got bed bugs I've never got them yeah same in all these years and of all the shit places I've stayed I know someone who got them from an airplane a fucking British Airways flight they got bed bugs because oh, I mean, they don't. I mean, they don't fumigate the planes, right? No, I know. Fucking, yeah. Once, and then once you get them, you're screwed. Right? I had them Is in the building works? once. I lived in years ago, but it was two floors down, and they never made it up to our floor. Wow. But it was fucking like that's bed bugs are one of those things where like you're like nah, like, I've that's. Had bed bugs. You've had him? It's a fucking nightmare. It's a nightmare. Oh, yeah. yeah, you can't get Dude, rid of him. Of course, Mike's had bed bugs. Yeah. <laughs> He's got him in his beard. Yeah. <laughs> I got him right, right now. He's got him bed bugs. There's they a year in mental health when everywhere in Richmond was just infested with bed bugs. Really? And most of my mental health work was just fucking bed bug prep. Oh, crap. Yeah. Yeah. How did you find out you had them, though? Was it just uh, like. I had bites like, all over me. Yeah. <laughs> my Is it like very first... obvious? I, I knew what to look for you. They come in threes, and then once yeah. you get them all, and then you can find them. And you yeah. look under the mattress edges, right? Like yeah. you look the for edges. That's where they I hide. know that thing. And I'll, that like thing, in yeah, some I've hotels, I'll do that. I'll uh, Gordon and I went into a hotel once, and there were bed bugs, and we walked out. That's the one of the other ones. Oh. To be fair, the Booker was blind, so he had no <laughs> clue. And we're like, this hotel's crap. He's like, seem fine to me. I'm like, fucking you're it's blind. It's a fucking nightmare. You got to dry everything. No, you it's fucking, terrible. Yeah. It's terrible. Bag everything too. I probably I probably kill a lot of people. <laughs> I'd probably just kill 12, 13 people. That just seems reasonable. Your, that nope. seems reasonable. Have any serial killers done it because of bugs? Like any, any serial killer ever had a spider tell them to do hey, something? Bugs that weren't there. 
Oh, that's what I mean. Because, yeah. you know, like the son of Sam, there was a black Labrador. who's like, you should fucking kill a lot of people. And he's like, that dog's smart. Right? <laughs> like, that dog knows what he's talking about. But has anyone ever Is done that it? that true? Too? Yeah, the son of Sam, he listened to a dog. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, I had no oh, idea. Yeah. Yeah. I think this podcast should be called Teaching Chris Griffin Facts. <laughs> <laughs> It may or may not be true. <laughs> it, it should be called inordinate bullshit. And it's, just <laughs> but it's funny because we we, we, we we never know what we're going to talk about. And then we end up talking about sometimes interesting things. Yeah. But most of the time just complete stupid shit. Yeah, yeah. dude. Even uh, Mike and I were in the elevator on the way up. And he's like, I don't think life is real. Yeah. <laughs> no. He gets real philosophical after a few vodka sodas. Like, what do you mean? Yeah. Just like in general? No, he doesn't think it's real. Yeah. I was like, yeah. do you think it's a simulation? He's like, no. I'll tell you this, though. Stand on his foot. Real enough, you know? <laughs> Do you think it's a simulation? No. No, I don't think so. I just think it's fake, though. Yeah, I think I it's too shitty. Like, I think, well, I think, life, I, think life is, I think life is poorly orchestrated. Like, I don't think... I don't think that, that's why I, I couldn't ever believe in a supreme being, because I'm like, this is just bad workmanship. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah. Dude, you're like, not doing well. Human beings <laughs> are in your image. Have you fucking seen humans? We're terrible. All right? Yeah. All our bits are in the wrong places. We get things in... We get eyelashes in our eyes. That's how badly designed <laughs> we are. Like, Unless, like, God is, like, a mullet dude just being like, fucking... <laughs> I would accept Nail it. that. Yeah. I would accept If he's that, that guy, yeah. you're like, oh, I would accept man. That. If you, you did perfect. If you get up to heaven and it's just a Camaro with the door open, <laughs> you were good. <laughs> Everybody's in. And then yeah. you get in and all your family's in there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Welcome to motherfucking heaven, bro. God's Camaro. <laughs> Oh man, dude, you nailed it down. There. It's just your vision, just perfect. Donuts forever. Yeah. He just—that's all he does. Just donuts in the clouds. <laughs> <laughs> donuts while eating donuts. Oh, <laughs> the double donut. God damn, that seems like a bucket list thing. Yeah. Just hit, hit, a, hit a Krispy Kreme and then hit a parking lot. You know what I mean? Like, oh it just rain, boys. Let's do this. Like, more than one donut, just like, just have like a big. Yeah, you just gotta drift in a circle. Donuts. When yeah. I was young, it wasn't called drifting; it was called drunk driving. Mm. That's what I was. <laughs> <laughs> it's called getting, getting there, getting to the liquor store there. before it closed. It's called having fun. <laughs> having fun, baby. Yeah. Having fun. I um, remember a Krispy Kreme opened in Calgary, where I'm from. Yeah. And then a dude a la- around the block, mm. just like. <laughs> For like, yeah. you couldn't even get near it for like yeah. a month and then out of business. Yeah, really. <laughs> Three months later, yeah. everyone's like, "Enough!" <laughs> I know. I, enough. Like, wow, I haven't had a Krispy Kreme donut in a long time. I'm not a huge donut guy, mm. but I mean, I do enjoy one when I get. I'm a fritter. I like a fritter. Like an apple fritter. I'll do that. I don't even know what that is, but yeah. Dude, it's like someone just like tried to make a donut and was like, fuck it, halfway through, and they just threw apples in it. <laughs> it's remarkably good. Yeah. yeah, I love donuts, but then when I eat them, I'm like, why did I do it? It's exactly. like Subway. Yeah, like, yeah. What the fuck yeah. was I thinking? Yeah, why did I do it? Rock bottom. And the thing with the cri- thing with Krispy Kreme donuts, too, is like they are thin enough and airy enough that you don't feel like you're eating yeah. that much, so you'll just eat a shit ton of them, and then your tongue hurts. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I know. It makes your tongue hurt. Yeah. But it fucking does like one of the first times I ever went to the United States, um, America for people at home, and uh, I call it for by its watching. official name, um, <laughs> the United States of America. It's a big thing. Don't look it up. And I went to we're Krispy Kreme. Be there. Tell you that. No, no, they don't. They, this actually stops at the border. They won't let it go across. This is a big fence. The internet. <laughs> this is, it stops the Greenwood internet. can't figure it out. No, like, no, no, can't. Elon Musk oh. personally hates me. <laughs> I can't figure out American internet. <laughs> Could you imagine finding out that like like someone famous that you've never met fucking despises you? Like how weird would that be? It'd be kind of flattering though. Yeah, if they care enough to hate like you. Like if you just yeah. find out Warren Buffett fucking hates you for no reason. Like what? <laughs> and you're like, no, he fucking hates like, you know, user four five nine one five that always comments negatively on me, but that's him. He just has yeah, to figure out how to give himself a name. Yeah. Cause like, like, there's for sure people that hate me out there oh, that I sure. don't know. Yeah. Me too, yeah. that I like I'm yeah. like, oh that guy's a f- Great dude. Yeah, like, no, every they fucking like, hate you. <laughs> yeah, but I think but being if hated is famous. A, that would be great. Yeah, right. Because they've got other people to hate. They're busy. Yeah. They've got a lot to hate. They have a lot of enemies. If you're, if if Phil Collins was calling you up and was like, "You fucking piece of shit," and just hung up, you'd like, be like, "Phil, that's kind of cool." That's cool. I can feel it. You are a fucking piece of shit. But if Mike <laughs> like, Greenwood calls good. you up, yeah, no, you know, <laughs> I fucking hate you. I'm like, dude, you're toast. I never even thought, I never even thought like, if we He's said, like, I don't we, think life's real. If we, right? Right? <laughs> talking it's about. like, what's he talking about? <laughs> like, dude. Like, and also, like, and also, I'll see you at the studio. Like, <laughs> <laughs> see you tomorrow, Cyrus. Call, call, just calls back. Sorry, just calls back. <laughs> but like, I was just like, who would be like if you find if you could pick a celebrity that would hate you that you could be an enemy of. Who would you pick? 
Like just any celebrity that you'd be like, not you particularly hate them, that they would for randomly hate you. Oh, and yeah. And you'd be like, what? This would change your life. That's a good question. Like, I don't know how to answer it. Like, yeah. Is it somebody that you like and then you want? Like, yeah, exactly. You know, like the, the relationship's not even. It's like, like you imagine you find out like Robin Williams fucking hated you. Mm. And you're like, what? He doesn't hate anybody. He's like, maybe no, Alanis more set. I'd want her to hate. Yeah. Me. She'd write a song about you. Yeah, Taylor Swift exactly. would write a song about you. Yeah. That's something, right? Like if if like, a you imagine if like Kendrick Lamar hated me and I'm like what the <laughs> fuck did I do and he just calls you out and yeah. like and you're just but like just like so many verses like, this, like <laughs> what the fuck is going on yeah. writes the best song about hating yeah. you it's first of all one hit. why did you make an album with Flow Riders I don't know what the fuck is this about like you know what I mean like just like and it's just all about how much they fucking hate you yeah. that would be pretty flattering though yeah like if they just yeah. name check you to the point where they're like fuck Chris Griffin and you're like yeah but why but like and then you but you can't get it touch with them because they're famous so you can't find out what you did yeah <laughs> and, and you don't also know. i would be like i did nothing i would yeah. just default position to that yeah there's no I way you could have done anything. something like do you think how how crazy it would like if you were famous enough you could change someone's life by randomly picking a name and just doing that and they'd be like and that's you'd what be eminem like, did to machine where did, gun kelly exactly he made him and then scared him out of hip-hop and like literally <laughs> he scared him into fucking 14 year old girl music like he fucking scared him. I've like never seen anyone th- like cause people go oh, I wouldn't fuck with that guy and then he legitimately proved like no don't fuck with him cause he will t- t- change your image yeah. now you fuck Megan Fox I mean that's not bad but yeah, I like, guess and that like with Machine toe Guns <laughs> thing wasn't too bad like his song was not the worst well yeah. the thing is too is like it's like so he wrote those like, I don't know a lot about hip hop but I know that uh, uh, Machine Gun Relly uh, Kelly <laughs> Machine Gun Relly <laughs> Machine Gun Relish. Machine Gun Relish. <laughs> Have you tried Machine Gun Relish? It's hard to get on your hot dog. It fucking comes at you at speed. Um, but, but he he wrote that like he, he attacked Eminem, and and he had like a bunch of people help him write it, right? Then he did, like because oh, M- Machine Gun yeah. Kelly didn't write that track oh. by himself. Oh really? And then Eminem was just like woke up and was like. <laughs> <laughs> just, like, I know. Just like, I don't want to have to do this. And, yeah. just, and then he said, "He's like, I didn't even want to do it because like it just helps him." And I'm like, "Fuck! Can you imagine being that powerful? Yeah. Like just like just being like, I don't want to. F- I can't even fight back because if I fight back, it'll fucking make you better. Like and then, but he didn't. He just was legitimately the, yeah, destroyed what, him. Yeah, what the song was. So he's like, I'm making you. I can't believe that. that. I know, but like, maybe it's like Machine Gun Kelly's a genius. Maybe, or maybe he wanted out of rap and didn't know how to get out. Yeah. I mean, he could have wanted out of hip hop and didn't know what to do. I've been there. like, he's like, man, yeah, you, right, yeah, and uh, but you got the head, man, you stuck, you can't leave. <laughs> That's surgically attached. You cannot remove it. <laughs> he's got the wristbands. You look like a probably you look, a dumb outfit. You look like I a, no, but I, I didn't know it was video. I, I didn't know it was a video podcast. Best outfit I've ever seen. I think you look like a 1980s sci-fi movie bad guy. <laughs> Like, like headband and you have like a frisbee with knives on it or some shit that's what you do <laughs> like, you see me I'll be wearing that exact yeah. outfit the first a good bad guy outfit. in the movie like, yeah, the first, he dies yeah, yeah. like the first you just show up and you're like the first, the it's first like much better the first guy, guy in Running Man and you're just like <laughs> <laughs> Who loves you and who just do you on love? An scooter. <laughs> Dude, like, this guy's toast. Just <laughs> a rascal kill scooter him. running man. <laughs> <laughs> He's got like a barbecue scraper with knives on it. Yeah. Like, just they don't but even the try. Biggest yeah. intro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fireworks going Instant up. Death. <laughs> I used to love watching movies like that when I was a kid. Like, just Dude, like how those who be on. That movie? Oh, fuck, so good. So like, far, Arnold good. just fights people at yeah. different levels just yeah. and they just get progressively more crazy and he's just like ah, and he's like, yeah. doesn't he fight jesse ventura at some point is that in the, is jesse ventura in that one he's in predator he's in predator i know that much predator. yeah i don't know if he's in that but he could be i mean i can't knows? remember because i was a kid i, and I didn't remember, know who yeah. people were yeah. i remember there's one scene where there's a guy on, on skates like there's an ice yeah scene. there's an ice guy there's a, a guy motorbike like a, guy. yeah there's a motorbike guy <laughs> That's a chain of fire or something yeah. it was nuts yeah so it's the scooter guy Scooter guy would just die without Arnold. No, he would. Yeah, interfere. He'd just fall. Just wipe out. Fall. <laughs> guy who had too many champagnes at brunch. <laughs> Day drink from four to five p.m. I just love the idea of someone pitching that movie. Is like, so tell me more about this movie. What's this movie about? <laughs> it's like, it's like, wait, well, you're in a, you're in a jumpsuit. I liked it. <laughs> okay, and all in. Say no more. <laughs> it's a game show. Okay. <laughs> and then people try to kill you. Make it. Let's do it. <laughs> Like, every movie that came to him was like nobody came to him with like Tuesdays with Mari. No. Nobody was. Like, I want to be a serious actor. Yeah, no, you don't. No, you don't. Like there's some plot. He's like, get rid of it. Get it out. <laughs> what kind of phrases can I say? <laughs> I only want to learn four lines. <laughs> 
Schwartzcast, the Schwarzenegger podcast. <laughs> I do think that like it was much easier to make TV and movies back in the day, though. Oh, like you could man. sell like if you would like back in like when there were like when, when there were like real. four networks. My life was because when there were like four networks, like didn't that happen with the A Team where they like the A Team was like the number one show on TV, and they went into like ABC or whoever, and we're like we want to a raise, and they're like yeah, cancel the show. <laughs> They just fucking canceled the show. And like, we'll just make another number one hit because this is what's on. This is available. Like, yeah. this is it's this or football. This is what you fucking get. Sometimes the news. What else are you gonna watch? Fucking small one. They made Alf. They fucking made yeah. Alf. Someone went in and was like, "There's an alien who eats cats and he fucking lives with a family." Done. Yeah. Four cats. seasons. I know. Period. The, the decade that humanity did cocaine is hard to explain. <laughs> Look at all the cars too. <laughs> like they just for, for weirdly they're just like everyone needs two seats. Like no. What about families? <laughs> Fuck families! Two seats! What about the more? The 60s were over. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, it was like all the people who were like, just like, they had like pictures of ray guns on their wall in the 50s. We're like, we're making it! It's really... There was actually, in the Lamborghini Countach, in like the 88 edition Countach, there was actually a mirror. There was a vanity mirror that was flat. Oh, and really? I was like, what's that out? for? I'm like, what do you fucking think that's for? <laughs> it's for cocaine. You're driving a white Countach <laughs> with white leather interior. You're doing cocaine. Like, there's no way you're not doing it. Can you imagine just not doing cocaine in the 80s? And I was like, oh, what the fuck's wrong with this guy? Lose <laughs> Nark. You're like, weed. You're like, fuck out of the Camaro, man. Like, right? <laughs> yeah. And and just said, push just, the button. <laughs> so what do you think? Let's, let's do that. What do you think is the craziest decade of all time? Oh, 80s, I mean, I'm, for sure. 80s, yeah, yeah, yeah the cocaine. 80s, yeah. yeah, there's no yeah, the way. The 80s really fucked things up. I know. I'm worried it's happening again. You think? Yeah, like why is in the life 2020s? Like this? No, yeah. <laughs> it's not even real. Dude, well, the thing is, we have the benefit of the, we have the benefit of I mean, the backdrop of that till you said horrendous <laughs> financial and economic, uh, financial oh, yeah. and social and environmental disaster behind us. So yeah. we, it's not like the '80s where everything was, hey man, we're fucked up, but everything's fine. Now it's like everything's fucked up. And yeah, but, we're fucked. but life's also great. Like, we have the ability to make life great. You get AIDS we, today? Who gives a shit? Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but, but, I mean but, but in a real way, like, I, I remember when you were a kid, they had that, that in Canada, I don't know if it was in the States, but they had that, that commercial of that, like, the computer animation, that robot flying around and the arm got cut, cut off. Oh, yeah. I can oh. put my arm back on. But you can, and now I'm like, fuck it. You can put your arm back on. <laughs> You could yeah. do it. The robot lied. I can't believe you brought that up. I know, right? It's dark. It's a lot it's of fucking trauma. dark. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we had to just watch that, and it played like fourteen it times did. a day. It did know. play a lot. <laughs> yeah, it, for anyone not aware, there was a commercial in the in the like nineteen ninety. Mikey, maybe. bring it up on the eighty eight. Okay. Yeah, yeah. and it was a joking. robot that was flying around in this computer animated, real dire straits. You know, fucking. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, he like, was in Running Man. Yeah, I really like, like, yeah, just robot that can put my arm back on. You can't. <laughs> if you write, I'll tell you what. If you uh, send a letter to www.skpodcast at gmail.com, I will say pretty much anything you want in Arnold Schwarzenegger's voice on the next podcast. <laughs> but you have to send the letter. Otherwise, I'm not doing it. And we'll even if you, emails as well. well, that's what. I'm, well, it's a letter. <laughs> I require letters. I used to I used to write letters when I was a kid. Oh yeah, I have a pen pal. Uh, yeah, write letters. You had a pen pal? Yeah, like well, we uh, like till grade six, I lived in a city and then moved and then we stayed in touch. Oh, for, that's like, cool. A yeah, a pen pal before cool. the internet. Pen pal's nice. Can you explain what life was like before the internet for the young people? Okay. <laughs> All right, it was dark. <laughs> but it was also this. beautiful. It was it was amazing. So it was one of these things where it was Plus like the it was like there was so okay, so the nineties was so I was I was born in seventy seven. So for me I was born in ninety, I was twelve. So we're almost the same sort of age. And so it was that point where it was like I I came of age in the nineties. So it's like I got so the first cars I bought were twenty years old. They were from the seventies. They were these fucking cool nineteen seventies Volkswagen Beetles and like yeah. MG. So my that first was car rad. was an eighty nine Golf. Rat, <laughs> piece fucking of shit. Rat, right? Like that's so, a normal noise for a car to me. Is I, it diesel? No. I got, I got a seventy two MG <laughs> Midget for five hundred bucks. You couldn't find that car for fifteen grand now. Like it was so fucking nuts. And then and it was there was no there was nothing. Like basically, I would go out. And we would just drive around the streets at night because there was nothing to do. But gas was like thirty cents a liter, so you just fucking drive around and we'd go to coffee shops and there was like it was just crazy it was like this kind of moment of like of like i wish i wish i knew then what i know now about what that time was because it was the end of 
the 20th century. It really was the end of the the innocence of like having no. I mean, it was before pre 9 11. It was, yeah. You could we would routinely drive over the border to get gas and some fucking fried pies and come back. No, yeah. no ID, no yeah. fucking ID. But it's wild that you could just drive up to planes. Not. In yeah, my time, but, but that, you could do it. Yeah, before, you yeah. could do it, and then and yeah. then and then it was like the pre nine eleven. I think nine eleven was kind of when it flipped, because I remember moving. I'm moving to the city when I was uh, twenty two with my lady friend, and we got our first place together. And I remember it being like it was like eight hundred bucks a month or something, and it was like, and it was like at that time like to Vancouver. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. And we had a TV on, like, we had a little CRT TV, you know, one of those cathode ray tube TVs on a cart. And it was like, and we had, like, we, we listened you to, like, a Saint, Greek, Saint restaurant? Germany, like, <laughs> Greek restaurant. We lived in a Greek restaurant. <laughs> the cheese. Anyway, so, <laughs> but I remember, like, having this weird time of, like, there was, like, almost, like, at the time, you didn't realize, like, it's, there's no accountability. Like, I remember going to, to internet cafes to send emails. Yeah. It was like a big deal. Like I've got to go fucking send an email today. I got to. It's 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 a job. I got to fucking go do it. Even when I first moved to L.A., I would still have to like there wasn't Wi-Fi in a lot of places. Like it was still a novel thing to have Wi-Fi, right, and a lot yeah. of computers weren't able to do it. So it was like if you found a coffee shop with Wi-Fi and you had a computer with Wi-Fi, it was a big fucking deal. I got my first cell phone in like '93, and that was the first time I was like, and nobody else had phones, so it was like yeah, it didn't matter. That, that was I like basically as soon just, as you could get them. Yeah, yeah. I just basically carried around I held something. Off on it. I was like, I don't want a phone. Yeah. yeah well, my like parents my... had an extra one, and at oh, that time too. And I remember, I remember this is something I remember too specifically. Is like I worked for a cell phone company in '99, beginning of 2000. Oh yeah. And uh, Fido, yeah. and and they had GSM phones, and I remember I went into the training, and the guy said one day. What is GSM for the young viewers? It's a uh, oh I can't remember, but it's it's just the phone network that most of us use right now. <laughs> oh. Because okay. it used to be CDMA and TDMA. Oh, it was like pre five G. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. So CDMA and TDMA was the analog version of what people were doing with phones. So it was the analog cell service into the late 90s, early 2000s. And then everyone switched to GSM, which is like, you know, basically much more high tech. It was the beginning of G. Like G 5G nice. is 5 GSM. Oh, that's what G and so oh, I remember the, the trainer saying, he's like, there's going to come a time when you can walk by a store that's closed, take a picture of something in the window, and buy it on the phone. And we're like, Fuck you, you witch. That's never happening. <laughs> like, we were totally like, it's not. Because at the time, the phones were like these Nokia bricks with like oh, yeah. green screens. We're like, that's not going to fucking do that. There's no camera on it. Like, before cameras on phones. Think about that. Like, you didn't have a camera with you all the time. I mean, it's great as a, as a dad having a camera all the time so I can take pictures of the dumb shit he does. But it's like, <laughs> it's yeah. nice to have a picture. But I, also, it's like you didn't have that. There was no account. No one was going to fucking... You could punch a guy in a bar and it's just your word against his. Right? Yeah. Oh, fuck, I love those days. Yeah. <laughs> the Cosby era. The Cosby times. <laughs> yeah, back when you thought he was decent. Yeah. Well, there was no camera. Wow. Get, like, oh, shit. Um, yeah, I remember um, the, my fur first interaction with the internet was uh it was in high school but i i just my homeroom was the computer lab oh. so they're like they're like oh yeah your first internet you have to log in and dan salcedo the dude beside me topped it remember it used to be like uh hotmail.com was yeah, yeah, the yeah, big, yeah, yeah 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 the big one so we topped it in or typed it in and then uh, immediately just because also do you remember when the internet the internet was first invented it was just like if you went to the wrong website it was just, like Poor, like 500 yeah, 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 pop-ups. Yeah, 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 it's like yeah. ridiculous shit. Yeah, yeah. That happened. And I'm like, holy shit, man. And he's like, oh, man, what did I do wrong? I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, try my computer. Types it in again. Hotmail. But what he was doing, he wasn't mm -hmm. typing in H O T M A L E. Yeah. But he was typing in, uh, he was switching the A and the I of Hotmail. Uh, like Hotmail. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then same thing happened in mine. I'm like, oh, my God. Then, like, two weeks later, I'm in English class. And you know how they would have phones? In, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. The, I don't know if they still have that for school shooters. But um, <laughs> yeah, that's how you get in touch. <laughs> go to the like, gym. Go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go to the gym. <laughs> like, just imagine he's like, "Mom, I'm busy." <laughs> if the thing rings and they're like, "Chris, you have to go to the office," and they're like, uh, "And man, man, I also do you remember like printer paper was all attached in the big thing with the, the dot matrix yeah. thing?" Yeah, so yeah. So they're like, "We haven't really figured out our internet policy yet, but you went to this." website like xxx teen sluts i'm like for sure i didn't and yeah. I, I also didn't know what was happening i'm like i don't know and they just like rolled it out like, yeah the longest list i've ever seen and they're like this this and like we're calling your dad i'm like please god don't yeah like, i don't yeah yeah like no i didn't do any of this and then uh they called him 
No, no. And I'd never been in trouble. Like, I was an honor roll student. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I've never done anything Oh, yeah, you're wrong. fucking wicked smart. the first time you've been in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Like, in, and I was in grade 11 or 12. Oh, shit. Internet. Like, we're calling your dad at work. And I was like, oh, shit. And my no, dad and I, we God don't talk about damn. any feelings. Yeah, no, no, no. So I was like, oh my God. And they're like, yep, we're doing it, which is insane. And I would not do that. Yeah, if no, I was the don't ca- call the someone at work. There, the vice president, the president, yeah. And they called him, and then uh, they're like, hey, Mr. Griffin, we have your son here. And he was looking at pornography on a school computer during morning class. And I was like, Dad, I didn't do it. Um, and he was like, well, that's why we're not getting the internet at home then. <laughs> that was the conversation. <laughs> then, like, I told my, my TA, which was uh, like the homeroom guy, was the computer guy. Um, and uh, I told him what happened. I'm like, look, mm-hmm. if you type in Hotmail but reverse the yeah. I and the A, watch what happens. And I he laughed so hard when he did it. He had yeah. his head on the desk behind yeah, him. Yeah, it's funny. He went back, yeah. <laughs> He's like, this, and then we had like the parent teacher's interviews or whatever. So I bring my dad in. And yeah. uh, he was like, oh, this is what happened. Like, you know, your son put this in. And my dad was like, no. That didn't happen. <laughs> it's like he did that. <laughs> yeah. And to this day, I think really? he believes yeah, <laughs> that I'm just going to go to. See, I was on the internet in 1989. Like I was on BBS and local BBS message boarding back when you had to pay for a local long distance. Oh, like, man, so, like, I know. My brother like, yeah. racked up like a $400 yeah. bill on that. Thing, and like so AOL, we, would, yeah. we, would able, we were able to like message board. It was how you talk to people. And it was only people that would like local. Yeah. It was the only way. For, like, and we just text Holy based. Crap. And you, I did news old, groups, but you're man. like. I'm old man. I'm a <laughs> BBS guy. You're like guy. Atari. Shoreline BBS for anybody in Vancouver. You're in television. Yeah, I, I really am. Like I'm old school. And I remember being like on the internet at the time, and then my brother and I would fight over it because we had different friends on the internet. And I was like, this is a bad, even that time, I was like, this is a bad path to be going down. <laughs> like, just like, because you couldn't even make a phone call while someone was on the internet, right? So it was like, yeah. someone was on the internet. If but someone they're picked up local, the phone, you're like, yeah. Like, it's somebody next door. Well, and yeah, within, like, dude, you're a piece of not shit. Too, yeah, not too yeah. far away. Yeah, yeah, so they were like, they were like within, like, probably within the lower mainland or so within about 20 miles. And really? you would just, yeah, but you would have to pay long distance if you called them. So you would just talk to them on the internet, but then you talk to all these people you don't fucking, but they, they you would just literally just go by. Pong? Like, there's no pictures. <laughs> so you would go by how you described th- themselves, right? Right? And at that time, I had an erroneous belief that I was five foot eleven. I don't know why. <laughs> what are you, six two? Yeah, I'm six two. Yeah. And uh, six I mean, in, in human numbers. Um, so, <laughs> no, I'm like five ten. But at the time, I thought I was five eleven. And then so I was like, I'll nudge that up to six foot. <laughs> Do you guys ever do chat rooms or anything like that? Oh, that man. was what it was. That, that was, was my first was. thing. Was yeah, a that chat was what room. It was. Right. And I remember uh, our yeah. I don't know why, but I just made my name Chubb. <laughs> nice. No idea what that nice. meant. Like no association with the seven. boner. Yeah, and I was yeah. in the library. <laughs> They I had, had worse I, and, ones. Oh, I guarantee yeah. I had worse ones. I was just like, oh, like Chubbs. And like, man, the amount of people are like, hey, Chubb, how big? And I'm like, I don't know, five, ten, six feet. <laughs> six feet. <laughs> There's a lot of older women like trolling for Those were not women, dude. Little... Okay. Yeah. 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 I, don't, I think there was like three women on. on yeah. <laughs> dude, chicks don't know how to use technology. I know. <laughs> dude, my friend, when he was in grade 11, hooked up with like a 45-year-old <laughs> woman. And then she made fun of how, how poor he was after. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. He's like, like, here's the thing to me. He's like, it was awesome. We had crazy <laughs> sex. But then she was like making fun of how small my apartment was. And then like, you know, and then, like she went in my fridge, was making fun of my food. I'm like, that sounds like a That's horrible mean. Yeah. yeah. She's just flat shaming him. He was him? grade 11, right. so it's technically <laughs> illegal. <laughs> <laughs> You know what it's time for? What? Let's go! This is a thing. Chugging See, competition? Everyone has this hey, response. Trick, trick, trick. Everyone has this response. Um, uh, what we do, basically, is we found a thing online. Um, I was looking one day for a, um, and it's a conversation starter, random conversation starter for people with social problems. Oh, so comedians, right? And so here's what it is: we just randomly, Mike randomly asks us a question. Mm-hmm. It doesn't. It doesn't. No, con- you just have to answer it. Okay. You, you ready? ready? It's exci- It's a real exciting, high degree yeah. of difficulty thing. <laughs> we spent tens of thousands Mike, of dollars I'm on a, this. I'm on the spectrum, so right, be careful. Start, yeah. And uh, and I yeah. This is a, this okay. is for you. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them are pretty general, so I got to. Stro- we'll do this one. Uh, is there a memory that still haunts you to this day? I think I already told it with the. The porn thing. The porn yeah, the porn thing. thing. In high yeah. school, having to call your dad. Yeah, and that's like, oh, yeah. I just was going to rape.com. <laughs> Did they do that in the classroom by any chance? Like, is there... 
Like they just call it in front of everyone, or no? It was like w- where that happened. Yeah, so it was. Uh, um, no, it was like in the office with the principal, vice principal, and <laughs> guidance counselor. They and literally <laughs> had never done it before, and they didn't know what to do. Yeah, That's what they, it was. The, the paper was so long. Though. Yeah, I'm like, how would I go to that many websites? Yeah, like I don't have that much 15 time. Fifteen minutes yeah. for homework. Like, what <laughs> do you think is going to happen? Yeah. So like. Yeah, this? Yeah. So you get the internet fucking and you... Fucking jerk-off professional. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, Jesus. Like, like, at what speed? I'm I know. always scared. Like, so so sometimes I'll sometimes I'll, I'll go on... If there's a TV program that I can't get, sometimes I will look for it on the internet, and I will find it on things called streaming sites, and I will find it. And sometimes if you click things, many, many sites will pop up. Yeah, yeah. Hundreds sometimes, often. And I'm such a fucking psycho that I have to then check every single account I have email accounts, Instagram accounts, everything to make sure that none of them accidentally. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm so fucking nuts. And I'm like, that's not how it works, idiot. And then, <laughs> and then I have to go through. And the thing is, I never like to erase my history because I'm too lazy to repopulate all the fields. Like, I don't want to go through and oh, fucking yeah. put some, I'm so fucking lazy. So then I'm like, you fucking dumbass. All you did was like, you go on these sites, you find like these pop ups. And it's also casinos and all the shit. There's just fucking hundreds of fucking. You're like, I missed the days when it was two sticks and a ball. <laughs> Ball. It was simpler. I we- like it when it took forever to load the ditch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I went all was like Gilbert Godfrey. I, I, I went all. I went all weirdly. <laughs> <laughs> the ditch take forever to load. <laughs> but yeah, I wasn't feel like I, that's How's always old a, Gilbert a, doing. He's dead. He's, he's quite oh, dead. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Sorry to bring the bad news. Dude. That was such a fucking hit. What a rough year. Hey, Gilbert, Bob Saget. Norm MacDonald. That's a fucking rough year, man. Louis Anderson. Yeah. It's rough. Right? I don't know. Morgan Freeman. He's alive. I know, I'm just fucking... Yeah, Ultimate Warrior. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ultimate Warrior. <laughs> How many <laughs> Ultimate Warriors <laughs> were there? Just one, just but there's a few one. fake ones. But there was only one real Fake Ultimate Warrior? And he wasn't the best guy, apparently. He wasn't? No. no. Not a good dude at all. <laughs> How could but you? But he was an Ultimate Warrior. Look at those fucking guys. Warrior. Look at those fucking wrestlers. From these, the, with the cocaine and the steroids, you can't be a good person. It's not possible. Yeah. I know. Literally, you can't. <laughs> you got a brain damage? It's not possible. You yeah. got roid rage and CTE. It's technically impossible. Done. Fucking like it's like they look like you know what they look like is like it looks like the jer- looks like the Nazis won and then tried to make a super soldier. And just, Don't open that door. That, that's fucking mad. It's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> what the? <laughs> this guy's crazy in here. Anyway, so we need to kill those. them. I don't know how yeah. to do accents. <laughs> Yeah, if, if if the Ultimate Warrior was in Running Man, Arnold would have died immediately. He would just like cut, he was just like shaking his head, hit him with his feathered bangs, and fucking killed him. I like Big John Studd. That was my guy. Really? Oh yeah. I love Big John Studd. He, had a fucking, he carried a piece of wood with him. Uh, that guy's the laziest motherfucker. He was just like, you know what I'm gonna do? No, or was that Hacksaw Jim Duggan? Yeah. Okay, oh. that guy, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Yeah. And I like that guy because he literally was like, he was like, I gotta come up with a character. I'll go to Lumberland. And he's yeah. <laughs> fucking got this will do it. Dude. <laughs> took his I like shirt the off. Bushwhackers. Bushwhackers. Because they weren't a character. They were these normal. guys. These guys. Yeah, they're yeah, just yeah. me. British Bulldogs. <laughs> Great. British Bulldogs. I remember that. Uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Chris Benoit. I was like, well, well, Simon okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't um, like what his, was the question? I don't like his later the, work. The, the the first one. What's our worst memory? Worst memory. What's a, what's what's a memory that haunts you to this day? Yeah, uh, I, have, I do have a real one, but well, I mean that uh, porn thing is for real. That's scary. Yeah, but I have another one. What's your Simon? I have so many. <laughs> like, I literally and you can't include gigs. Start at comedy. <laughs> like, I can't. I can't. Often nights I can't sleep and I just go through a Rolodex of like an email I sent when in 2001. <laughs> and I had to go down to the fuck. <laughs> like, but like I literally, I have so many things that haunt me to this day that shouldn't haunt me. Right. Like yeah, I, know, I, know. I don't even know what's actually real. Like in that sense of like. None of it's know, real. I don't, don't you know, know what's real. But I don't know what I should actually be worried about. Because I tell someone, sometimes I'm like in my weaker moments, I'll like tell someone, they'll be like, why are you fucking worried about that? That's insane. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay. But then I then there maybe there's something that I should worry about that I'm not worried about, and then I worry that I don't worry about the worrying <laughs> oh, thing. Shit, that sounds like a fucking nightmare. <laughs> yeah, it's not fun to be me. It's not a good time. Great like, question, Mike. Sorry. It's a random name. It's a topic it's a topic starter. I don't believe that at all. I need a I need a I got a, two I forty year old men cry. I've never had a question that's given me a stitch before. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I legit got a stitch. And when I asked it, you like rubbed your face for a bit. It's like when you swallow a pill and you still feel it. Like, it's like, ugh. I don't know. Um, When was our first episode of the podcast? It's up there. (laughs) 
<laughs> it was our first episode. Actually, I do. It was Dylan Reimer, and I do that regret. That, I do regret that we. No, they were all good, but I do regret that we didn't actually figure out the lighting. <laughs> That's, like a, I do regret the first three episodes. Filter were not, a potato, yeah, right? not, we were shot on a potato. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a Ukrainian was just a news medium. He's a ghoul. <laughs> well, he's fuzzy anyway. Yeah, so we just expected. We should have him on again and see how he's doing. <laughs> yeah, let's call him. Right he now. drank more than any guest. We did he? Yeah, he did actually get fucked. And we started yeah. buying more beers yeah. for other. Yeah, guests. Yeah, he did. I overcompensated. <laughs> I overcompensated because I thought we. Holy crap! Is he okay? No, he's fine. We haven't heard from him since. I don't know Jeez. what makes him one of the best like comedic minds in the world, but it's something, and I'm not fucking with the <laughs> Probably the, the booze. He's probably the I'm not fucking Cooning. with the medicine. He's amazing. Uh, on a Wednesday night. Yeah. Do you have one? Uh, oh, things I regret. Yeah. Fuck. I have some bad ones. Yeah. I think. <laughs> Chris Chris is also was has been a professional drinker for 20 years, so <laughs> there are some things. Yeah, but it's all when I was sober. <laughs> Drunk? Oh, good, yeah. Perfect. That guy's great. Yeah. Some other people disagree, but I think that guy's great. I think but that guy's awesome. I think both Griff, of them are awesome, though. Sober Griff is awesome. Drunk yeah, Griff's awesome. Sober Griff's made so much mistakes. I remember I worked at uh, night shift on this one job, and this lady, I'd known her for like five years. I'd worked with her, and uh, she was, but I was, no, it was probably two years because I was still in high school. Um, and then she, no, maybe I was just out of it. Maybe it was in university or something like that, like but 20, 21 years old. So I'd worked there probably four years, five. And then uh, she's like, uh, she's like, oh, school starts tomorrow. And she brought in the, the class schedule. And then she had all the, like science, math, blah, blah. And then one class was pop machine. <laughs> and I was like, oh, man, pop machine? That's a class? She's like, yeah. They put money in and then they count it and they do all the accounting. And I was like, oh, man, at my school, they get the Down syndrome kids <laughs> to do that. And she was like, yeah, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, why, no. would you not, why would you not mention that? No, I totally, <laughs> five years. I totally feel yeah. that. So, yeah, yeah. No. I think about that all the time. And every it was in the lunchroom, and everyone was like, Fuck. <laughs> "Whoa, would not have said that." <laughs> but I get it. I get how that's in your head forever from like eighteen years <laughs> ago. It's in your fucking head. Yeah. Why would you? Yeah, but it is funny that. Yeah, it was like math, science, and then like pop machine. I was like, I was pumped about that class. Pop I was like, yeah, I'd be like, oh, What's pop man, yeah, I want to be in that. Well, no, that's a logical question to ask. And they're like, Chris, you are. I'm like, yeah. fuck, oh, fuck, <laughs> god damn it. But I like it. It's fun. The yeah. buttons. <laughs> There's one button's extra big because it's for Mountain Dew. And you can press that one. I never understood that. How some pop machines had that one extra big button. It's like, what the fuck's going on? Yeah. Like, yeah. It was usually like the Pepsi. The who do you have to pay to, to get the into Pepsi? One, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Because the best pops were the like the small one. Like, don't yeah. get this one. Like, yeah, yeah. Oop. Orange Crush. Yeah, Orange Crush. Crush. Oh, Orange Dr. Crush. Pepper. Yeah. I remember when Twitter, because I don't understand how social media works. Yeah. Um, <laughs> welcome. Like, welcome. This yeah, is yeah. where you belong. <laughs> and I think it's I think it's all fake. It's part of it. There's nine listeners. and Nine listeners and eight of them are bots. I don't like it podcast, but I need something to talk about at work. Pop machine. And then the fucking, yeah. But when Twitter came out, I remember uh, they, there was a thing, because I didn't understand. I still hate Twitter. Hate it. Because yeah, it just not, seems like arguing and screaming mm-hmm. to, in my brain. But I'm you know on the spectrum yeah. probably. But then uh, McDonald's did a thing where they were trying to do something positive, And then everyone, it was like, McDonald's stories. And I remember I just did... <laughs> Yeah, which is not going to be Yeah, it's not good. good. Before they understood like that you're going to get roasted. <laughs> Tell us about how yeah. much you like garbage food. <laughs> yeah, and I think I, I did a tweet where I was like, uh, like I ordered the orange pop in the drive-thru and couldn't stop beating the shit on my wife at <laughs> I, I was like, that's the... Yeah, and it got nothing. So yeah. I just quit Twitter. No, I, can say I was like, that's nothing. such a good... You know what's funny? The U.S. military did, uh, like, I think one Veterans Day, they were like, tell us the stories about how the military changed your life, and oh, fuck, man, that was a mistake. That so oh, good. boy, was that so a mistake. Good. Yeah. And, like, it was sad, but, but also fucking hilarious. Yeah, there was a main hilarious. one where he's like, yeah, it was so Talk about so getting sad. served. He's like, yeah, yeah I remember like, driving okay. three states over with my brother on the phone when he was about to throw himself off a fucking building. <laughs> I know. From the PTSD he saw because you assholes poisoned his brain. Anyway, he's dead now. Happy Veterans Day. It's like, fuck! Like, I had a kid that wasn't mine. My wife, I yeah. Like, oh my God, I came yeah. home after 12 months deployment to my brand new son. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that was what's Dude, they're fucking 
good. That's the, if that, that shit doesn't happen with NASA. You know, tell us right. the stories about NASA. We got to go to space. Great. <laughs> yeah. No one's like, yeah, I killed 14 civilians <laughs> with my rocket. Not Fuck. yet. But if Elon gets his way. Soon, dude. <laughs> Do you think Elon's happen. actually going to run Twitter? Do you think he's going to buy it? Actually buy it? Dude, I, yeah. I thought when he said it, it was real, but then now he, it seems like he's doing a pump and dump. He's dragging his fucking yeah, yeah. feet. That's the same thing he does with Doge and all that shit. Yeah, he just yeah. basically... He did like, it today with to Tesla. Did he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He he's was like, like, he's like, oh, oh it's problems. And like, he's like, just trying to lower the thing. Oh, really? To buy back <laughs> in. <laughs> yeah, so I'm in. I yep. So he's manipulating savings. the market kind of? Yeah. Dude, he did that with the, <laughs> he the do Dogecoin. It. He did it yeah. fully. He did it. Like, he, <laughs> made, he made millions and millions of dollars off that because he was just like, I'm just going to fucking... And that's why they won't let him say like um to buy something but he can say i like the stock the sec won't let him say buy this yeah but they'll let him say i like this oh he'll tweet a picture of something and then people <laughs> go through the fucking and it will go through the fucking roof the guys are the guys are con i don't think we should talk about this though because he's oh, this on is, the internet this is yeah, no longer just, aired after this got shut down just need to turn it yeah, off i, I think that's <laughs> the guy just like, just that's the guy who's like off. to randomly hate me <laughs> i think of all the people to hate me for no reason would be elon musk because i'm like because he posted he tweeted once he's like i love comedy and i was like i'll fucking teach it to you it's gonna cost you a lot of money but i'll fucking teach it to you i'll come to your house i'll show you how to do it and you're not gonna do it well because you're, you're a shitty open micer like he really <laughs> if elon musk was broke he'd be a fucking loser you'd be like oh okay he'd just be like i just all this crazy he talk and he'd be like you're out of your fucking mind <laughs> but because his dad you know made emerald had an emerald mine and sold money sold fucking planes to the drug cartels or whatever the fuck he did really <laughs> I know I know about the mine I don't know about the selling things yet but yeah, if he was a just a normal dead, guy he'd just be a, no, he'd just a be a fucking dude just yeah he'd just be guy. he'd be a shit open micer yeah, yeah. and Elon you'd be like dude fucking get a hair transplant and come back <laughs> he's, like, he's like fine I've got a billion dollars yeah, 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 sure great do. job of that. sure you do <laughs> well you know what you don't have a billion minutes of stage time because you know what you signed up late so you get three minutes after midnight <laughs> 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 That's inside baseball. What about, Elon, what about Elon Musk versus uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger in the Running Man remake? Arnold's now 70, 76 years old or whatever. Oh, yeah. But I still think he can kick the shit out oh, of Elon yeah. Musk. He has to win. I would yeah. rip your head off. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's electric? My power. <laughs> it's like just running out of phrases. Senile Arnold Schwarzenegger. Senile Arnold Schwarzenegger is going to be the best because everything's going to be like, everything's going to be Especially like. Especially if he's president. <laughs> How so fun would the God. world be? Yeah. I mean, if we're going to do it, if we're fucking ghost riding this bicycle of death into the infinity void that is the end of humanity, let's do it with Arnold Schwarzenegger's president. Yeah. yeah. Let's fucking do it. Yeah. And let's get him hooked on ketamine or something, too. <laughs> yeah. Like, why are we stopping? And get The Rock in v ah, as VP. Fuck yeah. yeah. VP all, Rock? Yeah. But yeah. I, I honestly think that, that the world's going to be okay. I think it will be, too. <laughs> if it's real. Yeah, um, that's actually, a huge question. Dude. I actually but, weirdly think it will be. Yeah, I because like, humans I like have a Gen history. Z. Of, we have a history of heading towards the edge and then pulling ourselves away. Yeah. We've done this many times before. We have the one thing that human beings seem to be able to do ugh, is <laughs> is like is like avoid disaster. We just, I mean, we'll fuck things up. Don't worry, we're gonna fuck a lot, but a lot of shit up, but. Yeah, we're there's going to be one nuke. Somebody's doing it. Someone's doing it. Someone's but we, doing we do figure out a way out. I, like, I have just, my bets. We figure out, like... <laughs> we got Putin. And we just... We just that fucking guy's up to something. Oh, dude, he's he's dying. So he's, yeah, like, yeah. he's taking he's like, shit with him, man. He's, <laughs> I think what he's doing, and this is a... I don't know whether this but is... But imagine Bernie got elected and he did it, and we're all like, oh, <laughs> what the yeah, fuck? Right? Jesus, yeah, right? Jesus, yeah. dude. Like, I will nuke all of the banks. And he just nukes banks. It was like, Why? But it's still, everything's online. I don't know how that works. <laughs> no idea how the internet works. But he knows how to drone strike. Like, Chase, credit union is drone strikes. <laughs> it's, it's your strike. own country, man. <laughs> no, why are you doing that, Bernie? He's like, life isn't real. <laughs> I went to the gap. They did not have the pants I want. And he's just <laughs> drone strikes. Nukes the gap. Yes, nukes the gap. All gaps. Didn't just wipe out one gap. All gaps that ever existed ever in any capacity. Even gap Some kids. Fucking guys folding sweaters with an earring. What? <laughs> it's like, blam, dude. But I do think, I do think, like we're gonna actually fucking probably be okay. It'll get bad for a while, but then what's happening is the hard right wing, old school conservative people are dying off. That population is dying. They're yeah. aging and dying, and so they're disappearing. That I think people are slowly but surely becoming enlightened. They're fighting back against it, but I think it is happening. And it's also too extreme on the left as well. Yeah. I think that Putin, 
I think what Putin's doing, and I don't know whether this is, I think Putin, he knows he's dying, obviously. I think what he's doing is he's trying to start shit with the West for a couple of reasons. But one, I think he wants, I think he wants the sanctions because he wants to turn Russia back to communism. And he wants to show them that their reliance on the West has made them weak. And if they go back to communism, they would be immu immune to this and they could be powerful again. I really believe that he's trying to, he's trolling his own population. I think he oh, wants to. I thought he was retarded. <laughs> that too. Pot yeah. machine, right? Yeah. And uh, he's just. <laughs> Back. <laughs> it's just basically what this podcast is. I just call back. And it gets to the point where like people haven't even seen the episodes I'm calling back to. I just call back 20 episodes ago. Novelty t-shirts. What the fuck are you talking about? But I do think that in, in, a, in a weird way, I think, first of, all, first of all, Putin's very, very smart. I don't think for one second he's an idiot. And second of all, I think he's And he's hard lived life, too, with the he, yeah. KGB shit. Yeah. He's an old school Soviet Russian. Like, yeah. he wants that. And I think that he has realized that when he, when he was able to take Crimea, he got a taste for it. There's nothing he could do, though, because they're really, that's why they had that referendum. So that they could basically back down because it was either that or roll tanks and they couldn't fucking do it. So I think what's happened in this situation is I think he knows because Russia's not going to win this and neither is Ukraine. Nobody's going to win. This is just going to just go on and on and on because Russia can't do it and, and Ukraine can't and, and Putin will die and then the wind will go out of their sails because nobody really no Russians really want to fucking do this like they, no, they the actual this is a comedy podcast <laughs> yeah well I mean uh, the I last 10 minutes of a geopolitical podcast we like to anyway, wrap it up with that <laughs> borscht is funny he <laughs> love it it's beets who doesn't like beet soup uh, <laughs> The Borscht Belt. It's where we talk about Russian politics and drink. The Borscht Belt. Borscht. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but anyway, that's what I think is going to happen. I think Putin's going to die. And I think when, when he dies, I think hostilities are going to end. But I think Ukraine's going to lose some territory. And yeah, I think, but it's also. Inevitable. But you don't think he's going to push a button before he dies? No. Yeah, no, well, because he, he can't, all he can't <laughs> actually push a button. He has to ask someone to push the buttons, and Russian generals have said, we're not going to fucking do that. We're not insane. Yeah. He's like, pop machine. <laughs> yeah, like, it doesn't work like that. I sink your people, ship. <laughs> the only button that guy's pushing is like annoying his housekeeper. <laughs> How come you're so fit? That's <laughs> like, all right, fuck. There we go. Now we're talking. <laughs> Just fat shaming Putin. That's how he'll be destroyed. Is the left will find out that he's fat shaming people, and they'll be like, "She didn't belong on that cover," and then it'll just fade in. Again. <laughs> Which I think she did. I think she's beautiful. Anyway, so the point is, what? Good looking, not beautiful. I don't know her. Yeah. And there's a big difference. Good yeah. looking and beautiful are different things, and people don't realize that. Like being physically attractive and being humanly attractive are different things, right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Because I don't know if someone's beautiful by looking at them. I don't know what they do. I know if someone's good looking, but oh, that's an attractive human. Yeah, hey, you know, they're, they're usually they're human. pieces of shit. <laughs> right. yeah, yeah, piece of shit yeah. there is good looking, you know. Hey, a good looking piece of shit there, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shitty norm. I don't. I've never done a good norm. Uh, well, we got three minutes left. Mm. All right, let's bring we'll it. Do another home. random. Do you have another Should question? Do another there, random. Monkey? What weird or useless talent do you have that no one knows of? All right, Simon, back to you. No, you first. It's guests uh, first. I can roll Is my it? tummy. We'll do that one just to, really? just to get the ball rolling. Do that? Yeah, if we're doing body things, I can like make my pinky toe. I can go. do that. Whoa, no way. I can't do that. I forgot I could do this, to tell you the truth. Dude, that's insane. How Thank do you, you make that happen? So I for the viewers... Upper it, ab, lower <laughs> ab, upper ab, lower ab. Oh, I don't have those. I got shot when, uh, when I was like a teenager, so now you can just roll it. I fought a whale. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say nothing more. It's like, okay, fine. Pirates would have had the best fucking stupid skills. I can put my finger through my head. What? <laughs> <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> plays a sea shanty. <laughs> <laughs> the ones with the boat to put to sea. Anymore. <laughs> His head's a squeeze box. Uh, anyway, what's I your... can also fly a plane. You can fly a plane? I've flown planes. I can fly a plane I've done too. a solo flight before. That's cool. What? I've never done a solo. Fuck. You've done a solo? I've never done a solo. Yeah. Dude, you really maxed out the talent. <laughs> Yeah. I wasn't able to drive cars. Because I was going to be like, I'm, like, I'm a considerate guy. That was like the thing I was like, that was... Yeah, you're considerate. That's, that's your talent? Yeah. You're nice? Yeah. I'm pleasant. Yeah. 
I, I care a lot put, about people. I, put, I can't I, fly a fucking plane. I put the toilet seat down. Why don't you make it still remember? I was Fuck. stoned at the time when I learned. Yeah, hey, you told How me. How did you, you get the plane? And you flew. I, I have a, my dad was a doctor, and I wasn't driving cars. And he's like, "This kid, he's to tired. Mature. He's like, just take, just fucking fly just a plane. take the plane. <laughs> no way. I used to wake and bake, and then read Star Wars books on the way to Boundary Bay, and then I used to fly Cessnas. Okay, how old were you? Like. I was supposed to be driving a car, so probably 16, 17. Holy and I wasn't driving a car, so my dad's like, let's get him in a plane. <laughs> God. I mean, that's when I went to play Charlie Whiskey team. Bravo. Yeah. Just oh, there you night go. shift and got screamed at by 50-year-old people <laughs> that were, I was the boss of. <laughs> that's that's weird. weird. And yeah. they would call into work because they were in jail. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I can't come in tonight, I'm in jail. And they're mad at you about it? Dude, and you're just in a plane? Like. Imagine if, he was, imagine if he was getting those calls in the plane, though. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what? You gotta come in. You gotta come, you gotta come in. Those tacos aren't gonna make themselves. <laughs> Just high, yeah. flying a plane. Oh, I, like, oh, that's an 80s show we could have pitched right there. Yeah, high yeah. plane flyer. Like, well, that was like, right before cocaine Fly high. Yeah. It's just called Fly High, and it's a guy who just is <laughs> on coke, and yeah. he fucking so, flies. Do you remember the 70s when you could just smoke weed and fly planes? It was cool. The I day. understand 80s, that. Yeah. It's like anybody who ever says, like, oh, man, women aren't treated that badly. I'm like, watch any TV show from the 70s, yeah. and what watch they scripted. Yeah. Like, someone was like, that's cool. And you're like, what? I know. I'm sorry. Starting to support, like I think yeah. they have a point. Yeah, they think they have <laughs> a point. There's a lot of shit that I mean, yeah. not people who are 20 now. Go fuck yourself. But yeah. if you're like in your 60s, yeah, I mean, lady, I'll the old broads. Yeah, fuck old broads, <laughs> old ladies, as I call them, the dried out. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, At this point, see that. <laughs> what was dry? Their skin? Yeah. <laughs> what do they call us, man? <laughs> <laughs> we got about a minute left, Simon. We're going to end on that note, I guess. I think this I is the first it. episode where both got, we both snorted on this. <laughs> so, what was the question again? I can't how Unique talents. Oh, yeah. What's Super your power besides ruining a podcast at the moment? <laughs> <laughs> we were doing so well. Were we? And then it's almost like we came into a landing and we realized we couldn't drive once the yeah. wheels were on the ground. It was just Greenwood flying. <laughs> You were flying oh, fine, yeah. and then the wheels hit your ground. Like this is driving. You fucking crashed. You know what you were doing? I never flew. My dad just gave me a flight oh, simulator. Yeah. Like, I'm a pilot. I mean, you're so fucking high. You had no idea. You're like, I'm yeah. doing it. And he's just got a he's just got a fan blowing in your face. I <laughs> <laughs> head out the car while well, like, you're 16. Fuck. <laughs> Been high for years. <laughs> What's your talent besides accents? You're great at that. I don't know. I mean, I don't really have any talents. I'm bringing people together. You're good at the airplane video game. I'm very good at the airplane video game. <laughs> Which one's that? Pilot Wings? No, I know I'm good at Metal Metal Storm. I don't know. Metal Storm. Is. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I fly, I fly around into the... <laughs> Do you remember that 1948 game where it was like you'd sit down and play? I remember. I, remember, I had like a Red Baron. You remember Red Baron? Oh, man. Oh, that was the shit, best one. Son. Dude, the amount of hours I spent in the basement trying to <laughs> find a Red Baron and kill I him. I fucking and then, flew. Dude, it was yeah. like a the game yeah. before the internet. And once, like, every eight months, you'd be like, he's there. And he would just kill you instantly. Dude, he would just show up. Yeah. With the, yeah, the, uh, yeah. The, but I guess that's what war is like. Right. Yeah, well, it's pretty much like a video game. What? It's 10 o'clock. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess we're done then. We're done then. <laughs> Sorry. It's so you need talent bringing guy. people together. My, bring it, my talent is to be able to end podcasts. <laughs> You've done that. Cleanly. Yeah, you did that a couple minutes Where ago. Where can people <laughs> find you? We're just going to... Oh, I'm nowhere. I'm nowhere. <laughs> this isn't real. There's nowhere to find you. Podcast. If it's yeah. real, motherfucker. <laughs> Um, you, you can find uh, Christopher yeah, on, on yeah, or Chris Griffin. Chris Griffin, same name as Instagram, Family Guy. Yeah. Dude, family. I can't get any results. Fucking I'm like, who the fuck? is <laughs> another Chris Griffin. It's, 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 it's a fresh hell. Yeah, it's... look him up on uh, Headband.com and uh, <laughs> HotMeal.com. And um, <laughs> dude, hot if meal. I could buy that website, oh, HotMeal.com is just a food delivery service. <laughs> it's yeah. weird. Even that would have been fine. Uh, <laughs> Perverts. Well, I mean, they, they gotta find you. Find Chris Griffin. Google Chris Griffin. Look for Chris Griffin. Find his comedy. Find his specials. Listen uh, to his albums. It's fucking hilarious. He's one of the best people in the world. He's a lot know. smarter than me, and he drinks better than I do. And I'm no, fucking. I'm not and I don't have a headband yet. You are. And um, and uh, Mikey Greenwood is also here. And so. <laughs> yeah. 
um, thank you so much for listening to the podcast thank you so much for watching the podcast please like rate and review and share and uh, subscribe on YouTube and patreon.com slash this is Simon King and you can watch the special at the end of the thing and, right? special, and, uh, and that's it and that's uh, it. thank that's, you Chris Griffin uh, thank you Chris Griffin hey, hell yeah, yeah. that's what's yeah. wrong this Woo! week <laughs>